So let's talk about what innovation isn't, because some people think it's just technology applied and like apps and connected stuff and whatnot. So I used to live in this building, uh, and they decided, and there's a super high-tech building in San Francisco right across from Twitter and on the same block as Uber, so you can see the kind of techie feel that's coming with that. And this is our trash can. On, the, on each floor, there's this garbage chute, and it was somehow app-enabled where you could either dispose your garbage or your plastic trash, right? Or your recyclable. And uh, so you have to select one of these buttons, but when it does that, it locks out the chute for anyone else in all 37 floors that's trying to throw anything else out, right? So this is the design process. <laughs> Thinking through, like, well, how would that work? Well, they thought it was a great idea. They didn't guess that this is what was going to happen. So as people show up and you're throwing out your trash, you have to wait 30 seconds or so till you can throw out your recycling. Well, for most of the techie crowd, that's about 29 and a half seconds too long. <laughs> and for, uh, forget the fact that somebody else might be throwing out trash at the same time, then you're just waiting. And so now what they've done is created behavior where people don't even try. They just come in and they throw their trash in there and let the building sort it out. And now the building's got a much bigger problem, right? Every day they've got to clear 37 floors of these, of these rooms. What would have been a better solution? Two shoots, gravity fed, no apps, no electron, nothing to fail. Gravity works pretty much all the time. So this is what innovation isn't. But a lot of people think, oh, this is, what, this is what we need to do. This is innovative. This is new. This is like mobile and electronic and apps and whatnot. So I'm here to disavow you of that idea. Innovation is simply a new and better way to solve an existing problem. 